Hey guys, welcome. If you're new here, for those of you that are returning, welcome back. Today, I have an updated What's in My Bag for You Guys 2024 version. Many of you may have seen this bag before here on my channel. This is my Coach Willow bucket bag in the color Candy Pink. I purchased this bag almost maybe about a year and a half ago now. This is a Coach retail bag, but it was featured on the Coach Outlet website for a short time, and I was able to grab it up at an amazing price. So without further ado, we'll just get right into it. Here is a look around the bag. You do have the Coach C here on the front with the turn lock open and closure. Here the side. You don't have a pocket or anything on the back. And the bottom does come with four feet. You do have a removable shoulder strap here on the top. It's also adjustable along with an adjustable crossbody strap. All right, you do have three compartments or sections in this bag. Just to give you a quick overview of how I have it packed. I have my beautiful pom-pom attached here on the outside that I received from my daughter some time ago. I had these now for a few years. Okay, and we'll just start with this front section first. And here attached to the strap, I do have this tucked on the inside. I have my mini Rowan coin purse in the same color, candy pink. This was a Coach Outlet item and inside of here i just have my carmex comfort care lip balm and this one here is in the watermelon blast and i do enjoy this it smells good the next thing i have for you is my snowy peach Berry hand sanitizer from Bath and Body. This one here is a new one for me, but it does smell really good and it's not overpowering, it's not that strong perfume fragrance like a lot of Bath and Body Works items have. All right, next I have this wristlet, also Coach Outlet purchase in the color Candy Pink as well. And I am using this as a wallet. It does have a few of my cards in here right now. And I still have to put my driver's license and a couple of more cards in there. But I do have a couple of my credit cards and store cards already inside. And the next item I have, many of you may have seen this in a haul a little while back. I picked up a few items from my local beauty supply. This is one of them. These are so cute to me. They are inspired pieces. And in here, I do have my mask tucked inside. I know a few people now that are suffering with flu or flu-like symptoms. So yes, better safe than sorry. Can't afford to be sick. The next item I have is another matching piece to that one. And I think I paid, well, my daughter actually grabbed these for me. And I think they were like $3.99 a piece. And it's this cute little one here. Has the little tassels attached to it. And in here, I just have a couple of coins tucked inside. Try to show you. There you go, without them dropping out. Okay. And I apologize. The lighting is in and out. We'll see if that improves as I go on. The next thing I have for you is this another little piece. And it's this one here. And I am using this one to house my AirPods. And these pieces did come in other colors. And I have checked back here a few times recent. And I they haven't come back in yet. The owner is saying that they're expecting to get more in. But it's been a couple of months now and I haven't seen them. The next item I have is this piece here that I picked up from... I don't know. I got all of these pieces from Marshalls or TJ Maxx, so I'm not exactly sure what this one came from. 
and I am using this to hold my cosmetic items. And inside of here, I have my CoverGirl, the Clean Fresh Yummy Gloss, my NYX Butter Gloss. I have my Very Sexy by Victoria's Secret. I have my eyeliner from the Beauty Supply, along with a lip liner. I have this cute little lipstick here. And these came, I think, in a set of five from TJ Maxx by Beauty Concepts. And I do like this one here. Let's see if I can show you guys a color. It's not going to show true to color due to my lighting, but there it is. Pretty close. So I do enjoy that color there. I also have this one here, which I absolutely love. And this is the YSL. I showed this one on, I think, my last what's in my bag maybe and that's the color there and it does have like a little sparkle i don't know if the camera is picking that up and it this also smells good too so that's everything i have in this little pencil case that i'm using as a cosmetic case at the time And I have done, I think, two setups with this bag. I've carried this bag two different ways. This is the third one. And to me, this is my favorite. I do love all the pieces that I have now. And that's all for that little case. And I think that's everything inside of the front section. Moving on to the middle zip compartment, I just have my phone case tucked inside and I picked this one up here, I believe from Shein and I just thought it was really pretty with the pearls on here and the little lady inside. And I thought that was cute and it went well with the bag. I've had this now for a few months and just couldn't decide how I want to use it or what I want to prepare it with and it worked out perfect for this bag. The next thing I have, we're moving to the back compartment now, is this notebook I also picked up from, um, I want to say Marshalls, TJ Maxx or Marshalls. That's where I got these monogram pieces from. I didn't get them all in one store. I did find them in different stores, but they were in both stores. So, you have the black notebook on the inside, and then you have the back here tucked inside of there all right next i have two pins dropped down in the corner and no worries these are the twist pins so they are not prone to opening on their own hope not anyway but these two came from ross Next, I have my Olay Body Science Cream Body Lotion, and I do love this. It smells really good, and it does moisturize well. I picked this up in a set of two from Bill's Outlet, and I think I paid $4.99 for the set. They came together, so. Okay, let's see what else. Also, I have my nail kit, nothing fancy, just my usual little kit. I think I picked this up from the Dollar Tree, and you just have your basic nail tools in there and the same old uh, tube of glue, just in case. And last, I have the last piece here to this set, which I am using as my bathroom pouch. And I have my usual items in here. I have my toilet seat covers. Feminine wipes, my towelette, soap sheets, panty liners, and a couple of wet ones. I think that's everything, guys. It is. So I'll just give you a quick look at the bag right quick, the inside, for those of you who may not be familiar with it. That's the back section, and you do have this slip pocket here, which I don't have anything here 
at the time I could place my phone in there if I wanted to. And there is the middle zip compartment along with the front compartment. Okay, so let's quickly get everything set up in place here so that you can see what all I had packed inside. I think this turned out so pretty. As I was saying, I think this is my favorite setup with this bag. And I was at one time thinking about, um, well, I'll save that for another video. But here you go, guys. That's everything I had packed inside. Move the camera back so you can get a good look. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. And if you have not already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you all in the next one.